Oh, good morning. Well, today we're doing a day in the life of a Ronowitz land. Welcome. Where'd you come from? Good morning. Good morning. Of course, it's going to be part of the day in the life of. Come on, let's see what's going on today. So this morning we're going to do a removal and replacement of implants. The patient has one contracted, very hard, painful implant. We're going to take that one out, put a slightly larger implant in after we release the capsule and then change out the other implant as well to make it match. So her breasts are a little larger and they're both soft. And she has extra skin on the lower part of the abdomen we're going to remove that extra skin and incorporate the incision into the existing scar. So it should be an interesting day, very typical secondary case uh, for a uh, mommy makeover, basically. I saw the patient already and marked her, answered her uh, last questions, reviewed the procedure, which is always a good idea with the patient, to make sure everybody's on the same page. Then uh, we'll, we'll do the procedure. Then uh, we have uh, one patient at this hospital, two patients, actually three patients at another hospital to round on. Um, and we have patients in the office today as well. So uh, on top of that, it's a, it's a Monday, uh, which always makes for a fun day because everybody's forgotten everything from uh, last week. So uh, it's starting the week over, getting the machine all tuned up. So that should, that should be entertaining, nothing else. So, but everything is based on a, a solid cup of coffee. And um, that's next. Coffee. Why don't you make coffee? You can have it in a left-handed like cup that. like me. <laughs> Do you want to know something really interesting? I'm right-handed, but a lot of times I drink with my left because I'm writing with my right. Hmm. So that mug would work for Maybe me. Maybe you're just copying me. I'm not. <laughs> you're in Bridget land. <laughs> no, but sometimes it's just like, yeah. It's more like Bridget Bill. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I like that. It's not a whole land yet. <laughs> For me, I filled it out. It's a whole world. I live in my erotic land. I think it's land. good that you admit that you live in your own world. All right. You never know as the boss if somebody's laughing because you're the boss or uh, ah. if, if they're laughing because you're funny, which is fine with me as long as people are laughing. surgery now we're gonna go see some patients so this is a post-op patient who had uh, silicone treatment from her leg hi my dear how are you doing this uh, is just looking at a gauze it looks like some fluid coming out there that looks a lot better, and that's a healthy pink, not a not an infected looking pink. Okay. Hello, hello. So you had a injury the other day with the a dog. Yeah, I got 
Annie is in for? Yes, I want to Okay. Hi, Annie. Hi, how are you doing? I am good. How are you, my dear? All right. in the forehead yet glass still in the scar after it healed. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? So did you have much pain? A lot of pain, yeah. But uh, the first uh, you know why the skeleton couldn't get into the army? <laughs> <laughs> they took one look at him and decided he didn't have the guts. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you, you think I'm funny, but my wife doesn't think I'm funny. You know what I found about humor? What? If you hold a sharp object next to somebody's face, yeah. they will almost universally think you're funny. It's not bad for my first time. <laughs> Oh, you have to practice. practice. And you have friends. You should be a comedian. You missed your career. Tell my wife, she doesn't think I'm too funny. I almost healed up. Sorry, I'm just cleaning it in here. It looks really good. It's down, it's like that big now. And it's not very deep. way back here so we're going to take that off today we did a biopsy that showed it was a squamous cell carcinoma which squamous is cell. yeah squamous cell so carcinoma sounds scary but it's not a scary kind of a skin cancer it's uh, basically we just need to remove it locally yeah. okay so we have a local and here's the just sat in her office Bridget. earl is bridget up there was no. she in the room you were in she's small so she Bridget? Not in the kitchen, that would be the most helpful. I wonder if she's actually in the operating room, uh, getting the local ready. We're all done with the local. Keep your foot elevated on like a coffee table or ottoman for the next few days as much as possible. You can get wet after 48 hours and then just replace the bandage. Okay. And if you have any trouble, you let me know. But otherwise, I'll do a wound check on you and be somewhat later this week. Okay, let's see what else we have going on. A nice chicken puttanesca. Just tried this sauce. It has uh, capers. Mm. You, you could hardly take some sauce. No, that was good. Mm. That's nice. There's like two you ounces for lunch? of chicken. Mm -hmm. mm. You, you need the I'm energy. Finished. I'm you finished. You need the energy. I'm gonna double dip. Go ahead and dip as much as, it's all yours. It's Have the, I didn't touch it. Have the potatoes. No, seriously. I'm gonna start eating it. You offered it to okay. me. Where he runs, you need to run after him, and I say, I'm not a duckling, I'm not running after you. Come on, Dr. A. Come on, keep up. I'm trying, but it's hard. So fast. Slow down. No, I don't understand. Uh, what? See, you want like people to run after you. I have never no, I run after without... a man. And I'm not starting today. I'm not going to touch that with a 10 foot pole. <laughs>
can see there's a lot involved in a plastic surgery practice. We had some very reconstructive cases, uh, large wounds, uh, some tumors, some cosmetic things, very uh, wide scope uh, uh, practice that plastic surgery covers. We had, we had a small one on the ear right here and that's healed up pretty nicely also. So very good. Carolyn. So on purpose I didn't mesh it. I okay, so end of the work day. Uh, we made rounds, we did our surgery, we saw all of our patients in the office. Uh, I checked in with the uh, insurance office to make sure they have everything they need. Uh, I didn't finish my charting yet, but we'll do that later. Uh, but one more thing before I leave the office to go home, and that is to say goodbye to Bridget. Very important. Hey, Bridget. Hey. So, how are things in Dr. A Spa? Great. You have a new giveaway I see coming up. Yes. That's very nice. And I want to just tell you how much I appreciate you helping with surgery this morning. Thank you. It's kind and of funny. You always uh, say you appreciate me when the camera's rolling. That's when I do appreciate you. <laughs> I bet. No, I appreciate Bridget every single day. I truly do. What time's tennis? And, and, uh, tennis is coming up quick, so I have to get out of here. <laughs> okay, on our way home, I've got all my stuff for the uh, case tomorrow. And uh, heading to the parking lot. So now off to the tennis court. So we'll see you there. Okay, so time for tennis. And of course, I'm going to do a little sunscreen because the nose gets the most sun probably if you're looking down and the cheek. So we had a big day. And I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of the day. And uh, now I've got my sunscreen on. I'm out here on the court with the famous Yu Yu. Yu Yu, say hi. And Yu Yu is just about to beat the crap out of me, even though I'm going to try hard. And uh, she's going to have fun, and I'm going to work up a good sweat. So. I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow, straight from, from where? Aronowitz land. Aronowitz <laughs> land, see you then.